Well, I grew up uh, uh, in the Tarai uh, region of Nepal, which is a flat land basically. I read about the mountains in the textbooks. At that time, I was thinking mountain is a different entity and the flat land is different. And that realization came to me only when I had an opportunity to visit the mountains, to know about the mountains, to, uh, to, to work for the mountains and to interact with the people living in the mountains. Then I more realized that the two are quite interconnected. Melting of the glaciers um, is of course uh, is a serious concern for the future. But uh, if the river flow is disrupted by cutting of the forests in the uplands, that will impact the flow of water uh, to the flatlands and the irrigation will be impacted and that will have impact on agriculture production, the crop production, that is one. The mountain people, they have also limitations because the, in the mountain lands you don't have higher productivity. So most of the mountain districts of Nepal, they are not sufficient in their food supply. Also there are limited job opportunities in the mountains. So they have to depend upon uh, the lands uh, uh, in the flatland that can produce food grains for them. Investing for renewable solutions and renewable energy is uh, the most important part of renewable solution. So people in the government should think of stopping the use of fossil fuel, uh, promoting uh, the green infrastructure, which I mean is uh, the traditional sources of water, the traditional sources of uh, the food, which comes from the ecosystem, the forest ecosystems, has to be conserved. That can only be conserved when we invest for uh, maintaining uh, the green infrastructure in the remote areas. Mm -hmm.